Okay, in several of the episodes in Jack of Dragons Rising Season 2, Part 1, there's a lot of references to the Teapot of Tyron. One is literally thrown at Zane in the second episode, and in the ninth episode when Cole and Zane are trying to obviously escape that mushroom house, um... Well, uh, the sorceress is just throwing out objects, one of those things is the teapot of Tehran, a huge hint that was hinted at in the, um, dragons from shrine set, um, basically put under a hidden plate where no one could find it. Now, could this just be a hint to the last gen and suggestion that this could be something that comes back to play? Hmm. Now, it would be interesting to obviously get this all information um the last gin would definitely want to free one of his kind um i I would see that personally be a huge importance to play but another thing that i feel also could come into play is the gym blade itself um if the um if the um king of the last uh of jinjago was smart he would have trapped all the souls into the gin blade, not let them all die, just trap them in there so they could live another day in a future world. I think that would have made a lot of sense, maybe trapping all the people in the kingdom into the gin blade. So one day, if, for example, the merge, it was, uh, obviously it was obviously a huge catastrophical thing that happens, in the future, but we did find out that it was a possibility, and that a lot of other realms, and there was pages, that something like this would happen. Well, what say Jinjago didn't have information or sources that this would happen? Why couldn't um, obviously when they were obviously researching up why the kingdom is falling, they didn't come across the merge, and why didn't the king go? Yeah, you know what? I trap everyone in the gym blade. I think that would have made total sense. But let me know your thoughts about this. Getting more hints to Nanakan, the Jin. Do you want to see him return? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.